Hey, we back again. Just had to take a quick small break. Like I said, I only filmed about five videos already tonight. Super excited. I pulled some nice rare ones. I didn't even go through the value yet. I just know I got so many more to go through. I got another package right here. Like I said, in the last video, which was Florida, shout out in the comments. If I say your city or your state or your country, just shout it out in the comments. And then two things I'm going to ask at the end of the video. You can do it now or at the end of the video. Just please follow or subscribe wherever you see it. If it's on Instagram or if it's on YouTube. And then just drop a like. That's it. If you want to, you know, share it to friends or, you know, comment and whatnot, you can do that. I ain't going to ask for too much of y'all. I just appreciate y'all coming up and supporting Pop Trinity. You know, once again, small black owned business uh, selling collectible items, things of our childhood and, you know, nostalgia and hobbies, everything like that. You know, so I got this package right here. We're going to go through it real quick. And I don't know what's in this. It's definitely probably uh, trading cards. Last two we just went through um, was Pokemon cards. So we're going to see real quick. Um, hey, Stillwater, Minnesota. Drop it in the comments. If you're from Stillwater or if you're from Minnesota, just shout us out. You know, shout out Papa Trinity. This is a, a, a eBay supporter I bought from. And, you know, I don't know if it was a bid or if it was a buy now or whatnot, but um, I did a lot of bids and I won one. This guy's out in uh, Stillwater, Minnesota. So open this bad boy up. This one was uh, taped well because I ain't gonna lie, I had a package. Only one package out of all the packages I received already that the it was just ripped at the bottom and the cards were gone. It was like 112 Yu-Gi-Oh cards in there. Few rare ones, so I was a little pissed off about that. But everybody else that I've been receiving packages from know how to protect their cards. Uh, I don't know if I showed you some of my uh, methods of how I'm going to package. But, you know, cardboard, if it's like, for example, if it's in a, um, a top loader, you know, it's going to be two pieces of cardboard tape on the sides, tape on all sides, and then put it in um, a, a bubbled wrap envelope. Um, and, you know, if it's a lot of cards, I might send it in like a small box, like, you know, something like this and have it, uh, uh, bowl wrapped in the inside. Um, you know, if it's in a penny sleeve by itself, same thing, I'm gonna do the cardboard. I just want to take extra precaution for people that are purchasing from me. You know, you spending money, you investing in me, um, you investing in a collectible item that you wanted to appreciate and more value. So I just take this serious and making sure that y'all are protected on y'all end. And out of everybody that I receive packages from, um, it was only one instant where I lost something. Maybe the mailman stole it. Who know? Um, but it just, it was weird because I got like 30 packages that day and that was the only one that was, something was missing. So, you know, I'm not going to assume that, you know, someone stole something, but it fell out some way. So we're going to go through this real quick. Um, Should have grabbed the scissors real quick. I'm going to just snip this end piece. Let's go at the end. That way, you know, I don't hit nothing vital. Oh, this is nice. This looks pretty nice. This looks promising. This looks really... I'm going to show you how... You see? So, just like I was just talking about. I didn't even open it yet so you can see. But just like I was saying, cardboard is how it is. And it's taped. Um, it's inside either... Like I was saying, a penny sleeve inside a team bag um uh team bags and then do it like this or top loaders which i showed you earlier in one of my videos that i had a bunch of i had like 300 uh team bags for top loaders and how this one's set it's literally on a piece of cardboard uh like this um it was taped to hold down on all sides so it doesn't move because you don't want it being something like this and it gets crushed on one of the corners and the way that it was in there it was just placed right on top um and then bubble wrap so perfect example um Something very similar to how I'm going to do it. Uh, maybe a little bit different, but I thought that was really cool. Um, and you see right here, just popped open. I'm going to just slide this back a little bit so you can see. Um, so I just took that off. It's it's definitely Pokemon cards. So I don't know how many. And um, let me just slice this real quick. You can get yourself some scissors or one of these little razor blades. Um, yeah, this is nice. So I'm gonna slide this out. Actually, you know what? I might have to cut these two these little scissors. 
I'm gonna slice that real quick. And perfect, you know, didn't move. Bag got a little ripped that it was in. And actually, you know what, I might have to cut these. Let me cut this one here. Okay. Let me just slice that right there. Whatever tape he used was strong. Boom. Right. That's out of the way. But as you can see, bubble wrap and inside a plastic bag. So just to keep them protected. Oh, nice. He's got a lot of them in, uh, or she. I'm not sure if it's a male or a female. But a lot of them are in penny sleeves. So I'm going to go through those. I'm going to put them on the, on the upside down. So they, they're probably rare. And you can see the condition. Some of them have like some wear and tear. You know, not like, you know, a lot. It's some of them are faded. Oh, there's a Japanese card in there. Nice. Nice. But some of them are just a little faded. And this is, when you got cards for this long, that is your personal collection, you're going to find cards like this where they're a little, they're lightly played or worn. You know, so that's like I was saying, I'm not going to get every single card PSA graded um maybe some but I, for now i'm assuming that i'm not gonna do any um so we're gonna take a look flip over so it's an energy card um another energy card and it i'm not this is a second uh issue so i'm not sure exactly what set it came from but this was probably from 2000 or early um but it's a second set it was probably a second base set same one, second base set, probably. It's another energy. And that's pretty nice. You can tell this is someone's collection. Another energy. Uh, I'm not even going to stack these in any type of way. Because I still need to go through these separately. So another energy. Oh, oh nice. What's that? It's a trainer. Oh, so this is from Team Rocket. And... For most of my people that know in the car community, you'll see those little symbols on the side. So y'all already, most of y'all probably know what the R stands for, but it's from Team Rocket. I believe 2000. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I have a few cars that are 2000 Team Rockets. Um, and this, ooh, I want to say fossil. The symbol right here, I want to say that's a fossil symbol. Um, I could be wrong, but it's a recycle trainer. Um, this is the Gambler. I want to say fossil too. Um, you can go in there. Let's see what else we got in this bad boy. Okay. Ooh, the gust of wind trainer. I've actually seen this one before. I don't know if it was the first edition that I saw. They were going for some money. So, you know, I'm curious to see what, you know, out of what I paid for these and what I'm going to be able to list them on the website for. Because like I said, everything that I buy, I bought personally, uh, or I've collected over the years is going for sale. I don't hold no attachments to anything anymore. I loved them. I cherished them. They were my memory. It was my childhood. But now I'm going to take it a step further. It's the greatest idea that you could have bought all these collectible items over the years. Like, I was a huge gamer. Like, I mean, PS1 all the way up to the PS4. I didn't get the PS5. My PS4, two of them broke. So I was like, I'm not buying another one. And then I just got busy with work and a bunch of other stuff. Little side businesses I was working on. And but Xboxes, I mean, game by uh, uh, in Nintendo. Oh, I got a Nintendo 20 uh 64. I might even sell it. I don't know. You know, I have Atari's, like I already mentioned that for sale. So it's just cool to say, hey, I used to collect these as a kid. They came out, you know, I was uh older, I was probably like a couple years old when this came out. So, you know, to say like a 90s baby and this came out, and I this is my generation, this is part of my youth and all the people in my era from the 90s to see this is really dope and then to say i'm gonna start a business selling collectible items and starting with some of my own and buying some more so that's just really dope um oh ho, 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 nice so i actually have pokedeck right and this is actually the second edition which i'm assuming is a base set i'm gonna go from there I, i've been looking at you know the grades because there's fossils there's jungle set there's rocket team rocket there's second base there's regular base you got first editions. There's so many of them, but I actually have three of those, and I've been seeing them going for a pretty hefty uh, amount of money. This is actually a, a Team Rocket right there. That's a trainer's card. Nice. 
I like the, I like this deck already because it's not a newer one. Um, you know, older cards typically go for more money. Um, some of the new ones, if you get like the V uh, Mex uh, or the uh, GX, uh, if you get a, a EX, like any of those like full art cards are going for dumb money. Boom, nice that. Look at that trainer card. Potion. I haven't seen any first editions yet. I believe that is a fossil. Like this way I'm doing it because then I can see it first and then reveal, you know what I mean? So rocket, bam. I'm not going to go over all the names. Um, it's just way too much. I'm not going to bore y'all with that information. But I'm going to show you what I got. Um, and I don't even know what year that was, but it looked like 2000s. So you can go on here. Bam. Uh, I feel like it's something in here. Uh, so I actually got a bunch of these. The Magmar. Yeah, I got a bunch of those. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Some classics right here. Classic. To, to see this through my childhood. Look at that. What's that? Slugma? Yeah. I'm going to tell you. Anybody that know, like, Pokemon names got some crazy names. Some crazy pronunciation. You was learning how to read when you was playing Pokemon. You know what I mean? So that's one thing. It's a cool educational game. But it's really cool because in depth, my TV series, how much they go into each character of each Pokemon. And they don't all they do is make sounds because they're, you know, creature. But if you look at Magic, um, I can't remember if they ever made like a TV series. I'm pretty sure they didn't. It was mostly video games, PC version, or probably on a PS or P, like some kind of console. And then, you know, it's just one of the largest um, playing t uh, games on a table wise. Um, Pokemon, I, I mean, I'm sure there's people that play it, but I, I think Magic the Gathering overshadows, you know, everything, you know, but I'm pretty sure there's large tournaments playing Pokemon too, because I know there are, there's tournament cards. So, you know, um, but looking at that, it's just really cool to see something like this, you know, going in for Pokemon how they build so much up into the story from the TV series. And they've been around for so many years. It's crazy. Over 20 years. Ah, nice. I'm pretty sure that's that's going to go for some money. You know. I don't know how I'm going to sell. Some of these are going to be individual sales. And some of them are going to be lot sales. And when I say about lot sales, that's, that looks like it's a fossil. Lot sales might be between 10 up to 100. So, you know, you could get commons, you can get um, uncommons, you can get rares and, and so forth. There could be foils, uh, like hollow foils. Um, there could be uh, um, reverse. It could be, you know, any of the full arts inside those. I might do stuff like that. So don't really know yet. That's the fun thing about when you have a business, you can figure it out as you go. Boom. The plan is, like I always say, showing up is half the battle. The other 50% is just being consistent. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Bang, bang. And that was a Team Rocket, I'm pretty sure. These look like these are just basic uh, sets, like the classic basic set. Bam, look at that. And you can see how you can tell it's a Japanese because the different version of it. So that's really dope. Mmm, rata, rata tat. So funny how many people. And that was a Team Rocket version, too. Got another trainer card. Nice. Didn't see, I don't think I saw any first editions. Y'all let me in, let me know in the comments if, you know, just for me, because I was just chatting it up with y'all, if you saw any uh, first editions. I don't think I did. I mean, I got a bunch of first editions in my collection. Not a ton, but, you know, maybe I'll sell, I'll sell a whole set of first editions. One thing I do have a bunch of is first edition Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And I am selling a lot of them together. Uh, so, just keep in mind out for that. that it, they are going up for sale. And it's going to be under $100. Like, you're going to get, like, like, 20 or 30 first editions together. Like, uh, I can't pinpoint how many, but I know it's going to be under $100. So, that would be a sweet steal for somebody. Especially if you can get them graded and whatnot. Look at that. Boom. And last card. So, now, like I said, these are the cards that came in on the board. But the person uh, from, what was it, Minnesota, I said? Um, am, I, am I tripping? Nope. Still Woodard, Minnesota? 
Like I said, drop yourself in the comment if y'all if if my video reached out to Minnesota. I'm from Philly. Everybody from Philly, just shout me out. I love y'all. I know Philly crazy right now. Um, it's a lot of stuff going on, but hey, I love all my people out here. It's it's a real hustle and grind for a lot of people that came from the city, and you know, just like any other city that goes through a lot of poverty, it's a lot. I I vibe with y'all. I feel y'all. You know, just know I'm here here with y'all. So everybody from Philly, just drop in the comments if y'all see this video. Appreciate y'all. I love y'all. All right. So anyway, so I got a bunch of these that are inside the penny sleeves. So I'm pretty sure these are the ones that are probably a little bit rare, you know, or maybe he just only did a few of them like that. So that's nice. Let me see what we got here. Nice. I have no idea what that is. If that's a penny sleeve. Nice. It is. It's just a cool ass penny sleep. Like with Mario, I guess. Hmm. Look at that. Damn. Another one. Look at that. Oh, okay. 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 Let's see what you got. Got another one. Nice, nice. I'm pleased. I'm pleased with this guy. Got a Japanese one. Oh. So, hey. I just, hey, tell me, tell me these not going for money. <laughs> Cause I already got, I got some of these and I know they going for money. So I don't even know what I paid for this, but that card right there just paid for all this. <laughs> so we're just going to keep, oh, so hey, look at that first edition. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. So I was right that most of the cards that were rare are in here. Um, Look at that trainer. It's probably going for dumb nummy. Who knows? Oh, another trainer. Yo, with Professor Oak. I'm pretty sure I already have that card in my collection, but we're going to find out. Nice. You already know these go for money. I ain't going to explain. And we're not going to say how much, but first of all, buying a pack uh, back then, I don't know, it's like under $10 or something like that for like 10 to 20 cards. And, you know, if you count that, that's what... You know, 10 cards, you get 20, 50 cents a piece. You know, and some cards, you was probably getting a pack for $8 or something like that. Yu-Gi-Oh! was a lot cheaper. I think it was like 3 or $4. But I think Pokemon was between like 5 up to like $10, I'm pretty sure. And then if you got the booster uh, boxes and whatnot, they were going for a little bit of money. A little bit of money, you know, but you was getting a lot of packs, depending on which one you got. So to have one card go for like, you know, 3 to $10, that's, that's some money. Um, oh, Misty, nice, nice, you know, let me have a little talk about Pokemon, because Pokemon changed a lot over the years, and Misty, Brock, and Ash, that was, they were the original classic, like, once they started adding more trainers from different people, I know they were trying to build stories that he had to, she, he had to leave their communities and go different places, but Misty and Brock, there will be no try, like, there will be no three duo you know that's not even a word three i mean well that is a word it's you can't say three duo but there would be never a, a, a triple team like that i just i'm just, oh first edition and it's a rocket nice that's going for money that's going for money nice 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 this was a good collection i'm already i'm excited look at that i'm excited i'm excited First edition, sweet, sweet. Show me some love. Ah, nice. Look at that reverse foil. Huh? Not bad at all. Oh, first edition. Let's get it. Let's get it. This was a good pack. Nice, nice. Second. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the second base set. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. I'm, I'm, ooh, okay, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you, oh, I already got some of these, and I can already tell you, they going for some money, they going for like a couple of dollars, um, look at that, first edition, sweet, ooh, what, my guy, Jigglypuff, first edition, sweet, oh, let me just tell you something, I, I already know how much this card is going for. So I don't even, if I even pay $50 for this set, between the Pichachu 
And this, like, come on, just drop in the comments and tell me that that ain't going for money. Oh my God. I already got two of these, so I'm about to head. <laughs> I haven't had, I don't know if I got a first edition yet. Oh, I just posted Needle Queen up. And I'm selling the same exact card, the same exact card for $62. Now, if you go on eBay, you can get on the bid, I think, for like $15 and, and you know, buy it now, $62. So I already know this is going for some dough. Oh, my God. That's a beautiful card. Needle Queen, nice, nice. Oh, yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm happy with this. Last one. Get out of here. Right, you. All right, so that that was a good pull. That was a good pull. You let me know in the comments uh, if that was a good pull. Um, 21 minutes in. I appreciate y'all sticking with me. Um, I really vibe with y'all. I really love my community and the pop eternity community and the, and the collectible business community. I don't know if you heard the story before, but I said I learned how to love collecting things and and just having so much appreciation for things, um, going trash hunting with my grandfather when I was a kid. So that's what brought the love in. So, you know, I just love y'all for sticking with me um, for this time being. I'm going to try to go through another video with y'all real quick. Phone's dying. But hey, look, we're going to stick with this. Papa Trinity, just love me. No hate here. You know, um... I'm loving y'all. No hate here. Like I said, rep y'all city if you see me. Even if you, I didn't call out your name for your city, your state, just rep up and tell me where you coming from. Because I just like to know that I'm reaching out there. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm touching somebody and just going over something of a passion that I had. Hopefully it inspires your passion to do what you want to do. So I'm going to actually go get me some, uh, whatchamacallit, team bags. And I'm going to stick this in the bag. Appreciate that.